What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Media Computer Solutions. So I got the Superman phone in my hand, right? No, this is the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro. Uh, and uh, this is a giant 6.4 inch device. I've been having this phone for one week. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro and all its glory. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. This video is brought to you by GoDaddy. Buy your own domain name, build your own site using any of GoDaddy business tools and save 30% by using www.trygodaddy.com slash easy computer solutions. GoDaddy makes registering your domain fast, simple, and affordable. I will leave all the links in the description down below. Find out why so many business owners use GoDaddy to be their domain name register. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So what I got in my hand is the Fab 2 Pro. Big massive 6.4 inch device guys. So let's go to the really quick go over the specs. You got a custom made 652 processor, 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, you got a 16 megapixel camera. You got all the depth sensors here. Uh, they're using the uh, Tango uh, software. Uh, you got an 8 megapixel camera on the front. Uh, you got all the bells and whistles. You got a quad HD on this thing. Uh, which is 1440p 6.4 inch device uh, you do have uh, uh, micro sd card support on here and adaptable storage that's the key uh, so i got a 256 gig micro sd card in here and this device shipped with 64 gigs internal storage so what about this phone that i like first of all this phone is kind of remind me of three different devices a tablet uh, a phone and an augmented reality device i mean listen Let's get the elephant out the room. This phone is 6.4 inches, all right? It's a heavy phone, it's bulky. Uh, you got 259 grams. I mean, this phone is very, very heavy. Uh, this phone, if you don't like big phones, anything past 5.5, this is not the phone for you. Uh, if you're an enthusiast, a tech guy, or you want to play some augmented reality uh, type software, games, and, and stuff like that, this device is for you. Uh, a lot of people might say, oh, God, Eric, it's running a Snapdragon 652 processor. It's got to be slow, right? No. Uh, all the things that I do on this device, this device is fast. Opening the apps and stuff like that is very fast. No problems with app opening and stuff like that. Booyah. See how fast that is? When you're going up and you're scrolling all down, uh, it is a Jew as far as speed. Uh, but the thing about it is, with the custom uh, 652 processor, I had this in my mind also that when you run the augmented reality games uh, that you was going to have some slowdowns, some hiccups. That's not the case with this device. This device is made for perfection. I see why this device was made. Uh, I don't have no slowdowns, no hiccups. With the first week, I've been using this device as my primary phone. And the reason why, and it goes back into... Uh, the first thing I like about this is a tablet. I mean, I get a lot of work done. Excel spreadsheets, big screen you can get work done. Uh, PowerPoint, uh, Word documents, uh, uh, PDFs, everything you could get done on this device as a work machine, you could get this done without pulling out your tablet or your laptop. That's one good thing that I like about this phone. Second thing is that it is a multimedia powerhouse. This thing, when you watch YouTube videos, man, the 6.4 inch device guys it is a jew to watch uh movies and watch youtube on this device now now the speakers the, ex, the ex external speakers on this thing is okay it's not that loud i got a whole sound test coming out for this device but the, uh if you plug up some headphones oh my god they have this uh enhanced audio on this device which is phenomenal which is adobe uh sound here and i'm gonna tell you that this thing works great you know by the way since we outside I want y'all guys to kind of look at the viewing angles here phenomenal looks good looks good but yes it does have adobe sound on it and it is a chew uh to use uh so yeah let's look at this let's see let's crank the brightness all the way up all right and so let y'all guys take a peep at the outdoor visibility here. So you can see this in direct sunlight. Yes. So this is a multimedia powerhouse. Uh, the third thing is about the augmented reality. I mean, this thing runs all the Tango features are very smooth, very fluid. 
it is a Jew. I, I am like a kid in the candy store when I, I, I play the augmented reality games. Uh, and I can tell you that if, if you got kids uh, and you want to have them occupied for a very long time, give them this phone and let them roam, roam around the, the house and play some augmented reality games. And it is a pleasure to use uh, with the Tango features with this device. All right, let's talk about the cameras. Uh, the camera, you got 16 megapixel camera on deck here. So I'm going to show you some still footage real quick uh, between this device. And also, I, I, I got a comparison real quick, uh, some still footage between this device and the Galaxy S7. So let's check this out. What's up guys, this is the camper samples uh, of the Fab 2 Pro uh, and it's a cloudy day in Louisiana uh, so I don't have that much light. Uh, this camera films at uh, 1080p at 30 frames per second so I want to kind of let y'all guys see this. Alright, kind of kind of get close here to look at the focus points and I got a lot of comparison videos coming out with this device. So y'all can hear the audio and look at the video footage here. Okay. Big old 6.4 inch device. Yes. Go into here. All right. Look at the uh, focus points. Go to the ground. Let's look at the color. This is the cameras of the Fab 2 Pro. As you can see, you be the judge for yourself uh, when it comes down to the camera footage, uh, the stills and the video footage with this device. One thing that I don't like, uh, that uh, this device can shoot only 30 frames per second. It should. I, I wish that it had 60 frames per second, but it only shoot in 30 frames per second. But the cameras is okay. Uh, and I got a lot of camera reviews coming out for this device uh, in the near future. But overall, I like this device. It's a pretty smooth, uh, the performance of it is A1. I actually love the body style. It's pretty premium. Uh, when you look at this, it's a nice device. I like the body style here. Uh, you got an all metal back. You got all, I mean, chamfered edges here. I mean, it is a beautiful device. 2D glass there, guys. Take a peek at that 2D glass. Uh, yes, it's big, it's bulky, it's heavy, but that's okay. Uh, because you know when you buy the Fab 2 Pro, this is what you're going to get. Now, before I leave, let's talk about the battery life. Now, if you're not used to augmented reality, this battery will last you. This is like the Energizer Bunny. Uh, I can't wait to do battery tests because this is going to probably be the top dog when it comes down to battery. 4,050 milliamp battery in this thing. And if, again, if you don't use augmented reality, uh, this def the device would definitely get you through the day. I mean, five plus hours or six plus hours of on screen time. Uh, no problems. I actually charge this device up in the morning and I still got a lot of room left to spare. And I'm excited about this phone, man. This this is a nice phone here guys so uh leave a question down below this is eric from easy computer solutions let me know what you think about the fab 2 pro and all its glory see you guys on the next video peace